Hello everyone, it's Matt Hetherington with MHTableTennis.com. I'm back with another video focusing on service. And you might have caught already my two videos that I brought out the last couple of days. At the moment, I'm trying to get a video out every day. And I've had a lot of feedback from all of you guys about different topics that you'd like me to cover. And so I'm going to try and work through them as best as I can and try and keep getting out one video every day, especially at the moment. So today I thought I'd focus on something very simple and it's something that most players have a good grasp of but there are a lot of players who still struggle with it and that is being able to execute a very basic backspin serve. And there are a lot of players out there who can't serve a good short backspin serve. And so I'll be showing you a couple of very basic skills and explaining uh, why it's useful to practice this core and very basic backspin short serve. We're going to start off with a standard service grip, racket between the thumb and finger, pressure from both sides, scrunch these fingers just for a little bit of support. This racket grip is going to help us get a lot of range of motion through the wrist. And when we do this serve, we want to try and keep the racket as flat as possible and a little bit above the elbow. So when you're serving backspin, there are two ways you can do it. You can either hit the back of the ball or you can hit the bottom of the ball. So you can hit this way or that way. Usually when you're hitting below the ball, you can generate a lot more spin than on this kind of standard way of generating backspin. And also by serving underneath the ball, it also helps later on when you're working on different service deceptions and changes of spin. If you can contact the ball on the bottom axis, it's a lot easier to change the direction and change which spin is on the ball if you're always hitting the bottom. So for this serve, we're going to keep the racket as flat as possible. And we're going to look at a kind of containment area to help keep the serve motion very, very simple. And I'll explain why. When you learn a backspin serve, and this is an area where I see a lot of people making mistakes with their service practice, there's not enough focus on the core contact of the ball when you serve backspin. If you can improve this very simple core contact and core motion of any table tennis serve, then you're going to be able to improve the serve overall. And if you can just work on that very simple action and improve it to get a lot of rotation, you can put that core motion back into almost any of your backspin serves. So the concept of this is that we try and work on this very basic motion. We try and get as much rotation as possible through practice. And then we can take that basic motion and evolve it into a lot of different service actions. So I'm going to bring the camera around a little bit and show you a side on view. And we're going to explain the shape of the stroke and how the waist is involved also in creating acceleration. So I mentioned a containment area and Essentially, we're looking at a very small rectangular area of space that goes about, I guess, a racket length away from your body, a little bit more than a racket length away from your body, and is about the width of your shoulders. So you're looking at this box area here, and also about a racket in height. So it's a kind of rectangular box shape and we're going to keep the service motion inside the confines of that area. One of the things that people overcomplicate is the kind of swinging and movement when they're doing the serve and this helps trim away all of that and just focus on the most basic execution of a backspin serve that we can. That's uh, going to stop us from back swinging or moving up where we end up contacting the ball downward too much it's going to stop us from swinging backwards where we'll end up potentially throwing the ball not straight and also contacting the side or being too far away from the table to serve short. And also it helps keep the ball close to us. The contact is close to us. Now, I'm going to explain it very easily. And I'm going to show you this box area is here. Okay, my racket's going to stay relatively flat and it's going to stay in this area. Okay, so this is my rectangular area here. So I'm going to start, of course, 
putting my body weight onto this leg, presenting the ball here where my center of gravity is with my chest forward. And when I throw the ball up, my racket's gonna come back. This is where my rotation comes into the serve. As I draw my racket back from my elbow, not from my shoulder, only from my elbow with my forearm here. I turn, I rotate a little bit. The ball's coming up here. And then I'm going to start moving forward with my racket and my waist. And when I get just before the ball contact, I'm going to tighten my thumb and finger and flick through. And again, you can revisit the video I posted yesterday on maximizing service spin to explain that part a little bit more. But basically when I get to here, I'm gonna flick and I'm gonna carry on and follow through a little bit. So essentially you're starting your serve around this shoulder, a little bit back from this shoulder and finishing it forward from this shoulder. And of course, when we're serving short, we want the first bounce to go closer to the net because we're putting a lot of action on the ball. You have to try and project the first bounce closer to the net by accelerating. And then the backspin will slow the ball down, which in turn makes the ball bounce short on the other side of the net. So I'm gonna show you a few demonstrations now and kind of explain those theories again as I'm doing them. While I'm doing these serves, I want you to notice how simple my movement is and how simple the action is. And just watch for those things that I've mentioned, that moving the racket in a more horizontal and linear manner it's in a straight line under the ball, contacting on the bottom, not bringing my racket up too much, and then just adding a little bit of waist. When you're practicing this serve and you're focusing on these very basic motions, at the beginning, you want to make sure that the serve is low over the net and it's bouncing at least twice on the other side. That's more important when you're first learning the serve or you're first developing the serve than how much rotation you can put on the ball. Once you can control the height and the length of the serve, then you can start adding more acceleration through your waist and through your thumb and fingers and wrist and start working on increasing the amount of backspin that you put on the ball. And when you practice this, you keep that basic motion. And even now, when I do service practice and I want to focus on increasing the spin that I put on the ball, I focus on this very core service action. I don't actually practice most of the time when I'm focusing just on increasing the spin and the contact I don't practice the serves that I actually use in the match. I just focus on these core actions that create the amount of rotation on the ball. And I can put this kind of practiced feel and timing for the ball back into any of my service actions. So when it comes to practicing adding rotation, I focus only on the core part of the serve. Because if I can fix the core part of the serve, then any service action I build around it should be improved and should increase the amount of spin that I can put on it. Once we start practicing increasing the amount of spin that we can put on the ball, this is a good time for you to start experimenting with things. So we can move a little bit gradually, bit by bit, we can try different things and move away from this very simple basic linear motion. Some players like to create a little bit of a dip so that you're coming and kind of cradling around the ball. A lot of players like to start tilting the racket back even more so that when you're striking the ball, it's almost starting to move from the bottom onto the front part of the ball, which creates even more backwards momentum and acceleration that brings the spin backwards. So I'm gonna demonstrate things which help put more spin on the ball by tightening the thumb and fingers or by bringing the racket backwards. Now that we have that simple basic motion, these are some of the things we can do and you'll see that the amount of backspin on the ball really starts picking up from that just basic simple motion. One of the 
things that I like to do when I'm practicing my serve is to add things that make it a little bit less boring. So service practice is probably the most tedious part of table hands training because you're by yourself, there's no interaction with anyone else and you're practicing something very repetitive and there's really, it's, it's very linear and very straightforward and nothing really changes. You're practicing one service motion over and over again. So I like to add things in that help me be more creative and help challenge me to continue improving the action. And one of the things that I like to do is create kind of a cage or a goal way so that when I'm practicing increasing the backspin, I can get the ball to travel forward and then start coming back through that part of the table. So I've used a couple of racket cases here and we're going to try and practice adding backspin to get the ball to come back around and through those racket cases. And as I'm doing this, I will constantly be making changes to try and add rotation. See, like this one didn't have enough backspin, so I need to add more backspin. This one I need to push forward a little bit more, so I need to add some more acceleration from my waist to get the ball to move forward. So I'm constantly having to analyze my serve and what I need to improve to get it to go where I want. Okay, so this one's not too bad, but again, not enough rotation. So hopefully that's given you some new ideas and new thoughts and a bit of learning process into how to create a basic motion for backspin serve. And not only that, but also to look at that very core foundation of your service motions and to be able to break it down into that very important contact area to help you improve the amount of backspin that you can get on the ball. So this is kind of one for beginning players and developing players who want to learn the serve and improve the amount of backspin that they can put on their serve. And you can see if you just practice that core motion over and over again and make little changes to it, it's very easy to take that core motion and put it back into any of your serves. So, you know, really you're focusing and getting that muscle memory and timing and feeling for the ball all together in that core motion. And yeah, it becomes very easy to put it back into the rest of your game. Of course, if you're interested in following, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram at MH Table Tennis or find my page on Facebook and my blogs at mhtabletennis.com. As always, I'm very easy to get hold of if anybody has any questions or any feedback they'd like to give me or even ideas for topics on tutorial videos, they can reach me anytime and I'm usually pretty quick at replying. So thank you all for joining me and now it's time for you to go and practice your backspin serves.